Hello Salem, I'm your Mayor Chuck Bennett and thanks for watching our April video update on the great things happening in our community. Let's start with welcoming our newest member of the City Council, Mickey Varney. At our March 21st Council meeting, we voted to appoint Mickey to the vacant Ward 8 seat. Her professional career experience has included teaching, while her career of service to the community includes being a member of the Salem Parks and Recreation Board, and she's volunteered with the West Salem Neighborhood Association. She also was a city councilor in Dayton, Washington for two years. Thank you, Mickey, for continuing your service to our community and representing the residents of Ward 8. Now let's talk about some other great things that will be happening in our city from the parks and recreation perspective. For my guest interview, I'm pleased to have Becky George and Kathleen Swarm of the Public Works Department. I, for one, am excited about what this summer will bring to our parks. Becky is the city's Parks and Recreation Supervisor and Kathleen is our newest staff member to the parks team. Together, they will be providing us with an update on the plans for the summer park activities. Well, welcome, Becky, Kathleen, really happy to have you here. Uh, we have, as you know better than any of us, one of the really premier park systems in the state, if not in the country. And of course, the centerpiece of that is Riverfront Park. And I was really looking forward to having a chance to talk with you guys about what's coming. Becky, you have scheduled this for a long time over the years. What's, what's coming our way? Well, there's actually a lot. <laughs> As <laughs> probably the community can notice, there's been some changes to the park. Um, we've had the two bridges put in, uh, going and linking Riverfront Park into Wallace Marine Park, and then the bridge into Minto Brown. So we host a lot of walks and runs in the parks. Um, and linking Wallace and Riverfront and into Minto opens up a lot of uh, trails for, for those types of activities. Um, and we have a new amphitheater, which we'll, we can talk about um, in a bit, but there are just, I think coming back from previous years uh, in comparison, we probably are, are at that level pre-COVID of being able to actually have a lot of events for the community to participate in. Great. You yeah. know, one that comes up, uh, I'm sure you you know each year, World Beat will be back? World Beat will be back, that is true. Uh, that is June 24th, 25th, and 26th. Great. Uh, yes. Iron Man? Iron Man. <laughs> yes, everybody wants to know about Iron Man. Yeah. It was such a success last year. Um, and we're just thrilled that uh, they'll be back this year and hopefully next year as well. Um, that's on July 10th. So that's going to be sort of high points in the summer. What are some of the smaller activities that folks might miss? Well, there's um, activities like I mentioned, the walks and runs. There are a lot of fundraising activities that the nonprofits in the community really get excited about. Um, and unfortunately, haven't been able to have for a couple right. of years. Movies? So, movies, <laughs> good point, yes. We are so looking forward to offering that. Do you that. have a schedule of movies? That, what we, have you got? We do. Um, well, we don't have the movies picked yet. Oh, OK. So, so okay. we'll uh, be on the lookout for the movies in the park uh, Salem Great. webpage. Uh, but the, well, there'll be four of those, okay. all of them on Saturdays. Um, and uh, June, or excuse me, July and into August. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's so, when it's warmest, it's hopefully. It, and yeah. driest. <laughs> right, right, yes. Excellent. They're, they're family friendly uh, and free. We, we do ask for donations, but they are free uh, Great. to come down and enjoy. Uh, any other any other ones you can think of that you want to mention? Yeah, so we the uh, again two we two years there's been we've been without a lot of these big events. Uh, the Salem Art Fair is back. Right. That's the fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth of July. Um, there's also the Fish Fest or the Fish Radio Station in Portland, 
and also the El Rey radio station in Portland. Right. They host those concerts. Those are big concerts. They are huge, and they have national acts coming for both of those. Oh, and that'll fantastic. be in, in August on the 20th and the 21st. Well, the biggest uh, new addition is the Jerry Frank Amphitheater. And Kathleen, you've been hired to program that. Yeah. I, I'm really excited about uh, what you're going to be doing. We've never had anyone who sort of programs an individual. As you can tell, Becky got them all. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and so our expectation with Jerry Frank Amphitheater is that there will be a, a highly specialized use for it. Can you talk a little about what's, maybe a little about your background and what you expect to be doing there? Yeah, I've, I've worked in events for nearly 10 years, mainly focused in big productions. Really? And so I, I'm really hoping my background will, will definitely help get this up and running um, and help bring some of those big acts to Salem that I know that everybody is hoping for. So right. that takes a lot of work. It does. And I suspect uh, my, my theory has always been uh, the first year is sort of putting it together. Yes. The second yeah. year will be presenting the outcome of, of getting people booked, at, uh, as my ex which is very limited experience yeah. Yeah. with this, is a lot of these big acts are booked a year, two years out. So. Absolutely. So we have to lay the groundwork this year. Great. Um, and we're hoping that we will work with some big um, promoters or production companies and they'll come in and they will help us bring national acts. Um, so this year we're going to work with them. We're going to see if they can't maybe do one or two yeah. one-offs this year. We're hoping for it. But um, in my experience, it's, it takes years to develop uh, the kind of concerts right. and acts that we're hoping to bring in. So you will, everybody in Salem will get to see some really fun things and it's Great. going to be concert focused. We're hoping to do the big ones, the national and world acts and bring them in because we're really hoping this will be a premier event venue uh, here in the valley and so we will do that but we won't forget to stay local and we want to see our local acts up on that stage when we can get them so we're going to be working simultaneously on growing both but this year it will be a lot of just testing it out seeing um, how it works working on the logistics and the operation and, right. Uh, growing from there. Oh, fantastic. Well, I think uh, I think folks are very excited about this. I know uh, a number of the local organizations are very interested in their chance to use mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. uh, the facility. Uh, you know, one I, I wanted to check with you on uh, just real specifically is Fourth of July. Do we have right. any plans for Fourth of July? We are currently working on those. Yes. Great. Um, yeah. We, I mean that we've again been off for two years. Exactly. So the community is really excited about it, and so are we. So we're looking forward to holding some. Uh, fireworks down at Riverfront Park. Yes. Good. Well, I want to have you back and talk about Fourth mm -hmm. of July when that Absolutely. gets put together. That has been, uh, from my experience, one of the really thousands of people show up here in the community and uh, get, really gets us all pretty excited during the summer mm -hmm. months. And if you if you think of anything else, come back. I'm always sitting here, wish waiting for somebody <laughs> to come tell me Would what's going to. on. Would love to. Would love to. Thank you. Okay, great. And as you develop uh, acts coming in, be sure to keep in touch. And yeah. uh, we can uh, let's, let people know it, through this and other media what uh, what's going on. And if people want to keep track, where do they go? Who, where's your website? The website's the cityofsalem.net um, under community resources and parks and activities. Okay. And then they can always call our office, 503-588-6261, uh, and either the staff that answer the phone can answer any questions they have. If not, they can talk to Kathleen or myself. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, and they can find a schedule of what's going on at least within the next couple of months. Absolutely. And Travel Salem is a great resource Aren't for they? a calendar of yes. events. They are. They do a great job. Yeah. Well, you guys do a fabulous <laughs> job. <laughs> thank and you. Thank you very much on behalf of the citizens of Salem for entertaining us. We yeah, really yes, course. absolutely. <laughs> really we excited. look forward to it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.